All right, so we got this Case 360 trencher here. Kind of in a mud hole right now, but anyway, this cylinder right here blew out on me the other day, so I'm gonna get it in the shop and repack it. I already did this one, so I, I know how the process goes. All right, so one thing right off the bat, this bolt shouldn't be loose, and it was when I, this was already loose. I did not do this. And there's fluid up in these threads. That's, that's not right, I'm gonna have to clean all that out. All right, so what I'm doing here is I am trying to get the top land off of the actual chrome shaft itself. And these seals inside of this thing are just so old and crusty that they're holding on really tight. So I'm having to hammer this gland off. Um, instead of doing what I'm doing here, you should wrap some tape around that chrome shaft to keep the hammer from hitting the side of it and beating it up and possibly causing issues further on down the line with the, uh, with the sealing surface itself. Um, I didn't have any problems with this one, but... I would definitely take precaution the next time I did it. So. <sighs> Alright, so now I'm just getting the shaft cleaned up so that uh, the seals will go on better when I put the glands back on. Um, this bottom gland here has only got four seals in it. And two of them are these like split ring type seals right here. Those are really easy to get on. This Teflon seal here is kind of a pain in the ass. And I broke both of the ones I've done 
I broke the Teflon seal getting it out because I don't know how to get it out without tearing it. So anyway, underneath that is this rubber seal, and all of these will be in the the. If you don't buy a seal kit, if you can't find a seal kit, you can just take these seals to a hydraulic shop and get them matched up. I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. Here in the top gland, I'm popping out the wiper seal. You can see that here in just a second. That, that is. And uh, from then on, I don't actually know the names of the rest of these seals, but there's about four, three or four more seals down in here. <laughs> So this seal I'm taking out right now is coming out in pieces. This is actually the U-cup seal. And there's an updated rubber version of this one. This one actually came out in much more pieces than the last one that I did, but that's bad. This little guy. And then there's one right in there. And there's going to be two seals right here. Really easy. It's just one. And then two. And that's all your seals. All right, so disclaimer here. This is a seal kit I was able to find. If you're confused about what each part is, don't worry about it, it's not that important. Basically the bolt, this one goes on last, so this one's called the bottom gland. At least that's why I call it the bottom gland. All right, so these two seals in this little baggy right here. This is a Teflon seal, All right, so it doesn't fit in the exact spot it's supposed to go. This is the rubber one. This one's decently easy to get on. You can just stretch it into place. Alright, and that's in place there. This one is not quite so easy, so. Alright, and you can see right here where I've got started. So I'm working it in. Working it in, and it's still got the rest of the way to go. This one's stuck in this top groove, otherwise it'd just fall down in it, but. Just kind of work it as you go. Go on around with it, and eventually, it'll sit down on there. Now it's loose right now. So, what you can do is, I have a big um, clamp that I'm gonna put over this. They sell a, Teflon keeper. This is the same way for rebooting automatic transmissions. And you have to size this back down to this size. That way it'll fit inside the bore because right now you could nick it as you go in. All right, so this is just a worm clamp. As you can see, it fits over that. What I'm going to do, you won't be able to see it after this. This is what I showed you before, but I'm actually going to wrap this cloth around it. And I can feel where it is, but... And that's going to give me a nice barrier between the worm clamp because these little ribs right here actually left marks on the last one I did. It still holds, it doesn't leak, but I may have just got lucky. And so I want to at least attempt to do it right. All right, we got that Teflon seal on. It's actually not too bad. I didn't stretch it out real bad. This would probably be okay to go back on right now. We're just gonna go ahead and rebuild it. So 
if you remember the order we took it off of, we had two of these. One here and one here. We got both of those in our kit. So we'll do one here and one here. Now what I'm gonna do, I don't know if this is necessary since they're both clocked the same way. I'm just gonna clock them opposite of each other. I don't know, maybe it's like a piston ring. I'm not totally sure. That is it for your bottom gland. Bottom gland's rebuilt. Just put a clamp around that if it's bulged out real bad and you can size it right now. Now we're gonna get onto this one. So this one's easy. That. This is your U-cup seal. There may be another way of doing this, I don't know. I have to use this little tool right here. Right. And what this does, that wasn't the idea. Right, this kind of bends it in the U shape. And you want to put this lip towards the fluid. All right. All right. And that's your U-cup seal in, and that's that seal right there. I know you can't hold this in. This one's also fun to get in. There's that one in there. It's not that bad because it's it's right here at the end, so but anyway. Then there's this this is the old one. And then this is the new one of these. So we can bring this one from the top. Fold it up on itself. Shove it down in there. Make sure it seats. All right, I got these two, for last but not least. And this is going to go on. And this is going to go on. And then that's that rebuilt, aside from your very last wiper seal. So, at this point in the video, I have gotten all the seals put back in the cylinder. And now I'm just trying to get the top gland threaded back into the, uh, the actual cylinder housing. So, there's several different types of hydraulic cylinders. I've only dealt with two, and one of them is this threaded one right here. These are really not bad. There's a small retainer bolt that keeps that thing from being able to back back off. And you'll you'll see me put that in at the end here. But um, pretty much all you need to take these out is one of these adjustable gland wrenches. And these things just kind of spin right out. There's Unless they're real bad rusted, then you may have a problem. But like I said, with the ones I've dealt with, I've never had them be too hard to get out or apart. The other type that I've done is the, uh, it's called like, like there's a wire that holds it in and you kind of spin the cylinder and feed that wire in and it pulls the wire in and that's actually what holds it um, and keeps it from moving in and out, which I thought was weird when I first dealt with it, but it's honestly easier than this. Getting the cylinder put back in. Um, everything just goes back together pretty much how you would think it would. The only thing about it is getting the cylinder in and out um, what I do is I just hook the lines back up and then use the controls to push it back and forth into place until I can get this top pin in and then I 
done. I mean, that's pretty much all there is to it. You can test these things with soap and water and an air hose. So you can push the cylinder in and out and then put water around the ceiling surface and make sure that there's no air coming out. You could also probably do that to set it to the right length before you put it in. I didn't do that. You could also probably push it back and forth with a bar to get it in place. But I just sucked the hydraulics back up and used the controls on the machine and I get it back in place that way. That's proven to be the easiest way I've found. Uh, here I am just testing it out and as you can see everything's working and holding like it's supposed to so we're all done here uh, thank you guys for watching this video I appreciate it and we'll see you next time